Good morning guys. We have some terrible, terrible Counter-Strike 2 news. Now, before we even get into this, I would like to point out that this is about the pro scene in Counter-Strike 2, so if you don't care about the pro scene, this probably isn't for you. However, I suggest sticking around anyway, it might be interesting, but it seems Valve is removing open qualifiers from the major. So I would like to tell you why Valve is doing this, but honestly I have no idea and as far as I'm aware there is no explanation yet from Valve why this is happening. However, I do have some speculations. I believe it is probably because of cheaters, which is a terrible reason, but I think that happens to be the reason. And I think Valve is doing this because they don't want cheaters to potentially make it through the open qualifiers, although that has never happened. Sure, there has been cheaters in the open qualifiers, but there has never been a cheating team that has made it through the open qualifiers into the major. You could say that cheaters in an open qualifier hurt upcoming teams because the upcoming teams will have to play against cheaters making it harder for them to qualify for the major. However, if Valve removes open qualifiers, then upcoming teams have no chance of making it to the major. So this is very confusing. And to point out how much the open qualifiers matter, I'm just going to list three teams that have come out of open qualifiers to advance pretty far at majors. The first one is Virtus Pro. This was in 2014, and they won that major. The second one is Team Spirit, perhaps the best team in the world right now. Well, they came out of open qualifiers in Antwerp 2022. And the third one is Mouse. They made it to the semifinals in Rio 2022. These are three huge teams that have come out of open qualifiers. Also, many smaller teams have come out of open qualifiers, which has helped some of their players get onto better and bigger teams in the future, allowing them to have successful careers. Now, perhaps an even bigger issue that comes from this is that with this change of no open qualifiers, it actually makes it impossible for female teams to qualify for a major. Now, I understand female teams are not up to par with the current top teams in Counter-Strike. However, that does not mean they deserve to have their chance of qualifying for a major completely removed. That is very upsetting. For example, Team Imperial, which is currently the best female team, you may have previously known them as Nigma Galaxy, can no longer try and qualify for this major. And something you might also not know is Imperial recently went through a roster change where they removed their in-game leader because the girls on the team wanted to play in more tournaments that were not just female tournaments, but included all teams. They were trying to progress and trying to get to a point where possibly they could qualify for a major like this. However, that is no longer an option for them because of this change. Also, one more point I'd like to make is in the beginning of this year or the previous year, I'm not sure which, Valve put out an update that let the community know that closed circuits would not be allowed in Counter-Strike by 2025. What is a closed circuit, you may ask? It is a circuit which only teams are invited to and cannot qualify to. Now, technically, removing an open qualifier does not make the majors a closed circuit. However, it's pretty close. So this seems pretty hypocritical from Counter-Strike. Now, personally, I am a huge fan of the Counter-Strike pro scene. I love watching Counter-Strike pro games. However, I have to say, I think this is one of the worst changes I have ever seen to the pro scene in Counter-Strike. I think this is very bad. I think right now, people aren't really going to notice the impact of it, but later in the future, I think if this continues, it will be very impactful. In fact, I think this is a huge step backwards for Counter-Strike. Alright, I'm gonna chill with my rants. Let me know how you feel about this subject. Do you feel this is a smart decision from Valve, or is this completely stupid? Also, let me know how you feel about upcoming teams and female teams no longer having the option to qualify for a major. Alright, leave a like, subscribe for more Counter-Strike 2 news, and have a great day.